Hi all, this is Dave out in Western Pennsylvania. I'm a chemistry professor. What you're seeing here in the fume hood at school, in an ice water bath, zero to five degrees, I have a solution of nine in the round bottom flask, a 500 milliliter. I have in there nine milliliters of aniline, amino benzene, nine milliliters. That's 0 0.1 mole. It's in 150 milliliters of distilled water and 10 milliliters of 9 molar HCl was added dropwise to make the analinium salt in water. I'm adding to it from a dropping funnel. To that is being added uh, ammonium persulfate, 11 grams. That's zero. 0.05 molar ammonium persulfate, 11 grams in 100 milliliters or so, plus or minus 10 of distilled water dropwise. Now you add that and uh, you'll let that go, uh, add it dropwise, keep it cold, stir it for two hours to complete the reaction. Now what you get from that, and you can see it's turning dark already, you get uh, the polyaniline. Uh, the precipitated amerylidine salt will fall out and uh, then I expect it to actually be uh, a dispersion but you can filter it now what you can try to do what I'm going to do is apply it with brush and use a heat gun to uh, apply it to a rectangular sheet of graphite to serve as an electrode in a rechargeable battery. And we'll see how that works. If it doesn't work well, then I'll filter this uh, merylidine, emerylidine, uh, the polyaniline salt, which is of course a uh, conducting, conducts ions, this substance, it'll also conduct electrons, it's a conductor. Uh, what I will do is uh, also convert it to the uh, polyaniline base and I'll do that by uh, washing it with a little bit of water. I don't want to get all of the oligomers out. I want them there so they're soluble in water. And, uh, but I'll wash it somewhat with uh, a little bit of methanol first with distilled water and a little bit of methanol, let it dry after a, a light rinse with acetone and uh, that material uh, will yield the uh, polyaniline base. And what I will do then is take the two materials and make a paste out of it and Try making a dry cell, I'll use an ionic liquid to uh, see if I can make a dry cell uh, rechargeable battery. But anyway, the main thrust here is the preparation of the uh, polyaniline salt. Yeah, it's turning dark as oxidation and polymerization occurs. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you posted on what we do with the material. Bye for now.